Relationship Checklist. Welcome back. I am your host, Shereen Monique. And today's episode, we are talking about intimacy. So who do we have here in the studio with us? We have our guests, our panelists. Alshi, welcome back. Thank you. Ashley, welcome back. Sean, we love having you always. Well, thank you very much. And Tashik, you're lovely as always. Welcome back. So here we go. We're talking about intimacy. We're talking about sex. <laughs> I guess <it's> so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what we're talking about. So, all right, let's let's get straight to it. How important is intimacy in a relationship? How important is it? To me, it's very important. It can make or break a relationship. You could have everything going smooth, but if the intimacy part isn't there, then that's what causes people to go astray, you know? Look for other people. All right, well, question. Ashley, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll pose this to you. Um, committing, do you try out the goods? Is it a good idea to try the goods out before committing? Well, for me personally, I don't need to. Okay. A lot of other people do. Mm -hmm. um, I think that when we're talking about intimacy, though, I think that it's important to broaden it a bit because I think automatically when we talk about intimacy, we're talking about people think we're talking about sex, right? But I think that um, intimacy is much deeper, mm -hmm. uh, much wider, much higher than sex, right? Um, I think it it depends on. The personalities of the people who are in the relationship, um, okay. how multifaceted intimacy can be. All right. So if we if we go back to that, Sean and Tashi, we know that you guys are married. We're not technically we're not married. Uh, we are married, but we're not married together. Not to each other. Not to each other. <laughs> right. Yes, but yes, but yes. we are. I mean, she is a lovely woman. <laughs> I, I, obviously, everybody can see, but this is not my wife. No. <laughs> my wife is beautiful and, and lovely and all night. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> <Very much> so. <laughs> I love you, babe. <laughs> all right, so from a, a marriage perspective, there you go. Talk to me. Um, well, for me, it's, it's very important, obviously. Okay. Um, but you know, again, it, 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 it for me, it's like familiarity. Right. You have to be, you know, um, uh, familiar with with your significant other. Okay. You have to know, you know, things that they're comfortable with, things they're not comfortable with things that they like, things they don't like, and mm -hmm. vice versa. Well, that's what Ashley said. We were talking about emotional. There are so many levels of intimacy. So if, if we're just talking about the sexual part of intimacy right mm -hmm. now, what percentage do you all think it plays between mental and physical? Per percentage. Well, mm. to me, it's, a lot of it's mental. Mm. A lot of it's mental. I, I, me personally, I would say it's so wow. <laughs> it's a very good question. Uh, I'm thinking like uh, 80 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what uh, you think, percentage wise. What? Uh, between the mental and the physical part of it. The mental and the physical? I'm going to give it a 60 40. Okay. I mean, the 80 20 is good, but I mean. <laughs> you still want to have some type of physical connection with somebody, no matter whatever the, the mental thing that goes on. That's true, but you know, as a man, I'm sure your mind could definitely be elsewhere. Mm. Uh, even, even even during the whole physical... No, absolutely. Listen, I, I've taken down many a bad white bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, so to, and so you had to put your mind elsewhere. Yes, I put mean, <laughs> That's, that's all mental day. But yeah, I'm not gonna go with a duck with a big personality. <laughs> Tashi, percentage wise, are you having a bad day? Are you going in the home and everything is good now? Or are you mental? What's the percentage? Mental physical. I need eighty percent physical. See? There you go. <laughs> I mean his own. Nice. I said his own. I mean, you know. Me, like if if I'm not there mentally, I can't get there physically. Okay. So and, it, all, and, and, it all starts with me mentally. Right. And and you know what? Having a conversation with someone, um, someone who's very, very well known in the social work field, they we we had that conversation and it was, you know what? Mentally, that's the biggest sexual organ that we have. Definitely. But like you said, to each his own. So here we go. On the relationship checklist, we're talking about intimacy. Maybe your percentage is different. You see here our panelists. They all have different percentages. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to your partner. I am your host, Shereen Monique. Thank you again. This is the Relationship Checklist.
Thanks for watching Relationship Checklist. Make sure you subscribe to the Woke Media YouTube channel. Also, make sure to check out the next episode. Until next time, watch, like, and share.